For he's worthy of all. He's worthy of all the praise. He's worthy of all the honor. He's all oh ya debo zika ya nerebo zeketa. No wherever you are, never zibayanda. Wherever you are, just lift your hands and glorify him for his goodness. Glorify him for his mercies. Glorify him for his mercies. His mercies. It's by his mercies that we are still alive. It's by his mercies that we still pray. It's by his mercies that we are here. It's by his mercies that we live. Holy Spirit, we worship you. We honor you, King of Kings. We honor you, Lord of Lord. We honor you, King. We honor you, King. We honor you. We honor you. We worship you. You deserve all the honor. You deserve the adoration. 
generation. No one is like you, King. No one is like you, Adonai. No one is like you, Abba. Ribadi Bazuka, Yadelebo, Rekandeleba Zekaya. Only you can heal us. Only you can redeem us. Only you can change. Only you can change. Only you can change. You are the only one who can change every situation in us. You are the only one who can turn things around. We give you all the honor. We give you all the duration. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you, Lord. We worship you. Oh, we worship you, Lord. We worship you. We lay our cross and worship you. to be exalted. You're worthy to be glorified. You're wonderful Jesus Christ. You're wonderful Jehovah Shammah. You're mighty Father. You're mighty. You're mighty Jesus. We give you glory and we give you praise. Speak to us today. In Jesus name we pray. And the church said amen. And the church said amen. Thank you very much. God bless you. God favor you. Straight to the word of God, please be seated in the hey. the power of discernment in readiness. The power of discernment in readiness is what we've been speaking about. Open your Bible in the book of Acts, chapter 10, verse 38. Please take your seats that we can be quick because of time. Acts chapter 10, verse 38. Acts chapter 10 verse 38. Let's settle down please. Let us settle down please. Glory to Jesus. Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor you are blessed. Tell your neighbor you are blessed. 
We are opening Acts chapter 10. As you tell your neighbor, you are blessed in the interest of time. 10 verse 38. Acts chapter 10 verse 38. The power of discernment in readiness. Most welcome everyone watching us live um, on our various social play media platforms. Let us know where you're watching us live from. We, we love you. We are praying for you. We bless the Lord for you. And we give God all the glory for your love, for this work and this church. Thank you so much for your comments. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you so much for everything. May God do you good. Peter, is that the right one? Um, wow. We are Egos Dominion House International. If you're joining us for the first time, that is our identity. Egos Dominion House International. And we are coming to you live from Nairobi, Kenya. Um, we are here right in, in the heart of the city. In a building called Sunbeam Shopping Complex. You come up to 50th floor. We are opposite Equity Bank on NAT headquarters and along Mfangano Street. There's also a number that you can locate us with. That number down on the screen, you can jot that number down and call us and I'll be able to answer you and speak into your life and bless you. God bless you and God favor you. Thank you for showing love. Acts chapter 10 verse 38. The Bible says, are you there? How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. Who went about doing good and healing all who were op oppressed by the devil. For God was with him. I repeat again. Our God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. Who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil. For God was with him. The Bible says that Jesus went about doing good. But I want you to notice something. He was anointed by the Holy Spirit and the power. And he went about doing good. But please hear this. That going about of Jesus was guided by the power of discernment. The going about, Lucy, the going about was guided by the power of discernment. Are we together? For example, in the book of John, quickly, John chapter 7, Please bear with me. I want us to rush a little bit. John chapter 7 verse 1. You see that table? I sent you there. You will find a note there. John chapter 7 verse 1. The Bible says, After these things, Jesus walked in Galilee, for he did not want to walk in Judea because the Jews sought to kill him. Have you said out? I said that Jesus went about doing good. But the going about was guided by the power of discernment in him. Are we good so far? You missed something. I missed you. You are not with me. I said Jesus is true. He went about doing good. But the going about was guided by something. And the guiding force. He didn't go because people invited him. He didn't go because he wanted to be there. He went there led of God. The going about guided by the for he did not want to walk in Judea because the Jews sought to kill him apart from here and go into Judea. Look at that. There is a feast of tabernacles. And the brothers of Jesus, not, not neighbors, the brothers of Jesus, not even, yes. His brothers therefore said to him, depart from here 
and go into Judea. That your disciples also may see the works that you are doing. Look at what they are telling him. You are supposed to be in Judea right now. Jesus, please go there. The things and miracles you are doing, do them in the presence of your disciples so that your disciples can believe you also. Ha. For no one does anything in secret while he himself seeks to be known openly. Look at what they are telling him. They are mocking him. They are telling him, no one seeks to do things secretly if you want to be openly known. You know, we know you want to be known. We know you are our brother, our big brother. But uh, go, go to the, let, let them see you do miracles. <laughs> mm. For even his brothers did not believe in him. Even his own brothers did not believe in Jesus. When Jesus said to them, my time has not yet come, but your time is always ready. Now, our of this are there. Let's go to this city. They are there. Because you are guided. The going about is not a reckless going about. It's a going about that is guided by the power of discernment. You have to discern when is the right time to do this. When is the right time to be there. So I began by saying Jesus went about doing good. But the going about was guided by the power of discernment. So, but it hates me. Because I testify of it that it's work is up to this feast for my time. And they're saying, my time is not always ready. That is designing the moment. Designing when to do what and when to be where at what time. Oh, come on. Did I lose somebody? When he has said these things to them, he remained in Galilee. They have gone to Judea, but he remained in Galilee. Ah, they expected it in Judea at that moment, but he remains in Galilee. Watch this. Verse 10. But when his brothers had gone up, then he also went up to the feast, not openly. <laughs> when the brothers had gone, he remained a little bit. Then he went to Judea, but not openly, secretly. Why is he doing that? Then the Jews... In the, they were waiting for him to come. The Jews were already there. And they were like, this is the moment. We are going to finish. We are going to kill you. And they have gone without him. And he has told them, my time is not yet come. So if anyone was asking them, where is Jesus? They would say, he is not here. We left him at home. But he came secretly to the feast. And watch this. And there was much complaining among the people concerning him. Some said he is good. Others said no. On the, on the contrary, he deceives the people. However, no one speaks openly, spoke openly of him for fear of the Jews. Now about the middle of the feast, Jesus went up. So Jesus knows the timing. In the beginning of the feast, they were looking for him to kill him. But that was the moment. By the power of discernment, he knew they were looking for him to kill him. So he doesn't go at that time. He goes when they have looked for him and it has failed. He frustrated their plans. He frustrated their plots. Now, any preacher would be, I am going in the beginning so that I can get fame out of it, have a name out of it. Are you here? Now, Jesus designed the best time to go to Judea for the Feast of Tabernacles. There was a plot by Jews to kill him. So he had to design the right time. So even though he went about doing good, the going about was guided by the power of discernment. Are we good so far? Are we good so far? In the book of Mark chapter 35. Before we go to Mark, let me finish verse 14. Um, John 7, 14. Now about the middle of the feast, Jesus went up into the temple and taught. And the Jews marveled saying, he goes up and begins to teach. And they are wondering. We never went to school with him. He never attended any class, theological class. How comes he knows scriptures? How comes he knows all these things? And he has not studied. He has not been to school. Are you here? Mark chapter 1. Quickly. Mark chapter 1. 
We thank you, Father. I know I left somebody, but I have to be quick because of time. Mark chapter 1, verse 35. I'm still proofing to you that um, the going about was guided by the power of discernment. Mark chapter 1, verse 35 to 38. The Bible says, now in the morning, having reason, a long while before him, they say to him, everyone is looking for you. So look at this. They are in a certain locality in Galilee. And Simon is in one of the towns of Galilee. And Peter and other disciples came looking for Jesus. Because he went before they woke up to go and pray. So they are looking for him everywhere. They are searching for him. Where could he be? Where is he praying? And they'll find him. When they found him, watch this. Uh -huh. They said what? And Simon and those who were with him searched for him. When they found him, they said to him, everyone is looking for you. In other words, the town was gathered to Jesus. Everyone in that town, the rich, the poor, the young, the old, they were looking for Jesus. It looks like the right time ha, to release the word. It looks the right time to release power. It looks the right time to walk in the supernatural because everyone is looking for Jesus. Watch this. Verse 38. But he said to them, let us go into the next towns. Who does that? He said, let us go to the next towns. But everyone is looking for you, sir. Uh -uh, I am not guided by multitudes in a city. I am guided by the power of discernment. What the Lord says, where I should be is where I must be. Are you seeing that? So the going about was not guided by men. Yes, people gathered. But Jesus tells Peter, let's go to the next towns. Are you seeing that? That I may preach there also. Because for this purpose I have come forth. And he was preaching in their synagogues throughout all Galilee and casting out demons. They have gathered. They are looking very early in the morning. By the way, they are not looking for him in the evening. Are you here? This anointing is crazy. Oh, it's not a revival meeting that people have come from their offices and now it's 4 p.m. in the evening. It's early in the morning. The sun, I don't think is risen yet or if it was rising and everyone is gathered and they are looking for Jesus and Peter is like, where do we find him? People are gathered. People want to go looking for Jesus and when they find him, they say, all oh, men seek thee. And he says, leave them alone. Let's go to the next towns. The going about was guided by the power of discernment. Designment. Are we together now? Are we together? I was laying some foundation, some little foundation. Walk of faith in God. It helps you even to know the traps. It helps you to know the traps, the diversions, the destructions. It helps you to know whatever the enemy going to Judea. Jesus designed the plot of the Jews to kill him. And he knew what to do. You will design and know what is wrong and what is right. Hello? You will design and know. Should I go for this meeting? Should I meet this person? Somebody can call you and say, we want to give one million dollars or whatever uh -huh, for the work of God and when you design the Lord will say don't take that money hey, you didn't hear what I said power of discernment will tell you don't go here don't go there you are not with me you will design and know what is wrong and what is right you will design where you're supposed to be. Many lack this power. And that's why they cannot walk with God fully. Many lack this power. Instead of being where God wants you to be. You will do whatever you want to do. And you know what? You are not supposed to do everything. 
You only do what you tell to God. Take the rich ones, uh, the fat ones, the fat ones. Let's go and sacrifice to God. Don't kill the king. Let, let's go and be dancing around where we are, we are telling him how far, how far. Uh -uh. If, you t if he says, do this, total obedience is for men that walk in the power of discernment. Am I helping you? Every place that Jesus went, he did a different thing. Why? The power of to one he said, walk. And they walked. To another, the blind, he spit on the ground, made some mud out of saliva, applied on the eyes, and the eyes opened. To another, he laid hands. He said, see, receive your sight. Everywhere Jesus went, he did a different thing because of the power of discernment. This power of discernment saves you. It delivers you from becoming familiar with God. It delivers you from becoming familiar with the ways of God. God does not move in the same way like he might have moved yesterday. He can decide to repeat it, but repeat it in a different way. Oh, come on. So if God decides to use an handkerchief today, tomorrow, design, he may not use handkerchief. We become familiar and we begin to do our own things and we begin a cult under the sun when we lack the power of discernment because we begin to do our own things, our own styles. Oh my goodness, my time. You need this power of discernment to know what to do and to know what is expected of you. You need this power of discernment to know what to do and to know what is expected of you. God's will can only work when this power of discernment is in you. Let me say it again. Let me paraphrase. The will of God flows through a vessel that is full of the power of discernment. So you can never do God's will minus the power of discernment. You cannot. You will do your own will. You will do the will of friends. They will come and tell you, I don't feel even though God spoke to you, I don't feel it's the right thing to do. But it's God who spoke to you, not them. Hello? Listen to me. What God told me, you can't come and tell me otherwise. I do exactly as he said. Where he said blue, I put blue. Where he said yellow, I put yellow. I don't listen to you. Whether it, it may not look appealing to you. That's your problem. Hello? I may not look appealing to you. That's your, that's mind your own problem. I'm minding my own business. Mind your own business. <laughs> that is when you can do God's will. When the power of discernment is there. That is the only time you can do God's will. Do you want to do God's will? Do you want the will of God to flow in you? Then have this power of discernment. But the power of discernment can never settle in a vessel that is not ready. It can never settle in a heart that is not ready. When the power of discernment is there, that is, that is when you can discern what God wants, where God wants you to be, and what God wants you to do. It's only by the power of discernment. Only by the power of discernment. Now, do you see how powerful it is? As I conclude on this matter. Bow your head before the Lord. And tell the Lord, tell the Lord, may your power of discernment settle in my heart. I say, open your mouth. Open your mouth. And be louder enough. Just tell the Lord. Let this power of discernment settle in my heart. 
Shadow in my heart. Shadow in my heart. Shadow in my heart. Come on, open your mouth. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray that this power of discernment open your mouth and pray without this power of discernment you can never walk in total obedience you can never do God's will in totality you will find yourself doing your own things and not the will of God open your mouth and pray 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 Father, may your power of discernment settle in my life. May the power of discernment may the power of discernment may the power of discernment settle in my heart. Are you praying? Are you praying? Are you praying? May the power of discernment, may the power of discernment settle in your life. This is my prayer for you. Lift, stand up now and lift up your hands high above your head and surrender before the Lord because the power of discernment is coming upon you. Wherever you're watching me from, the power of discernment is coming upon you. I said lift up your hands high above your head and let this power of discernment, uh -huh, I hear the Lord say, I am crowning my children with the power of discernment. The Lord is crowning you with his power, the power of discernment, the power of discernment. The Lord is crowning you with his power. The power of discernment the power of discernment the power of discernment who is ready let this power come upon you whoever is ready power is coming upon you if you are ready power is coming upon you at the count of three at the count of three I declare this power this power is coming upon somebody at the count of three. At the count of three, this power is coming upon you. One, two, three. Take it now. Take it. Take it, whatever you are. Take it, the power of discernment. Take it now. The power of discernment, the power, power of discernment, power of discernment. Take it now. Let it settle in your heart. Let the power of discernment settle in your heart now. 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 Take it in the name of Jesus. The power of discernment. The power of discernment. The power of discernment. I want to make a prayer for Kenya. I want us to pray for Kenya. In a few seconds. Many things have been said about Kenya. Prophets have spoken. Many people have spoken. The man has been characterized with accidents. Many things have happened and many have said this, many have said that there has been a clash with the clergy. Some trying to curse Kenya. Some saying they can destroy Kenya. But I stand in the place that my father has given me. I stand in the office that my father has given me and I declare now in the name of Jesus no weapon fashioned against Kenya is prevailing I say no weapon 
fashion that gives Kenya is prevailing. I stand in my office and I cancel negative words. I cancel negative prayers, negative words, negative declarations against Kenya. I cancel them now. I cancel them now. Every threat, every prophetic threat against the nation, I cancel. I nullify. Kenya is in the end. It's not in the hands of men. I say Kenya is not in the hands of men, but Kenya is in the hands of God. And right now, Kenya, I bless Kenya. 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 Come on. I bless Kenya. You cannot destroy Kenya. You cannot destroy Kenya. Not when I'm alive. Hallelujah. Of innocent people will not be shaken and drink the blood in the name of Jesus. And I speak the covering of God upon Kenya. I cover Kenya with the blood of Jesus. I cover Kenya with the presence of God in the name of Jesus. I cover Kenya. Ah, uh, I'm hearing this. The enemy wanted to penetrate i cancel i cancel any plot of the enemy to attack kenya through terrorists terrorism has no power in kenya we secure the borders of kenya we secure the towns we secure the cities we secure the villages with the blood of jesus let the angels of god be released over kenya let the angels of god be released over kenya i bless kenya i bless kenya i bless kenya i bless kenya kenya is blessed 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 kenya who go the people of god how can you open your mouth and say that you can kill people which god is that ha. I speak in the authority of my father and I declare that Kenya is blessed. I say Kenya is blessed. Father, arise, oh God. Arise, oh God. And let thy enemies be scattered. Let thy enemies be scattered in the name of Jesus. Kenya is blessed. Kenya is blessed. Kenya is blessed. Kenya is blessed. I say Kenya is blessed. Kenya is blessed. Kenya is blessed. I say Kenya is blessed. I say Kenya is blessed. The purpose of God concerning Kenya can never fail. Can never fail. The promises of God over Kenya. They are here and amen. The promises of God over this nation. They are here and amen. God bless Kenya. God bless Kenya. God bless Kenya. I say God bless Kenya. I say God bless Kenya. People have spoken on altars. This government, this president, this, if somebody has wronged you, deal with them. Stop putting Kenya in your mess. Kenya is blessed. I say Kenya is blessed. I say Kenya is blessed. Don't try this nonsense with me. Kenya is blessed. Somebody say amen. We cannot bless with the same mouth and cast with the same mouth. We cannot heal with the same mouth and cast with the same mouth. It doesn't work. A spring cannot give salty water and good water at the same time. Unless you are sent of the devil. Kenya is blessed. Kenya is blessed. I say Kenya is blessed. 
If you are not born, if you are not born again, can't you see how the dollar is? Can't you see the Kenyan shilling? You, you are here standing cursing Kenya when God is working things out. Ah, ah, you are wicked now. And you still go ahead and take offerings from the same Kenya that you are cursing. You that is you are the one that is receiving curse. You cannot curse Kenya and go ahead and receive offering from Kenyans. How now? If Kenya is cursed, don't take our offerings. Go where they are blessed and take offerings there. So listen to me, men of God. Don't curse Kenya and take offering. That offering will kill you. I have spoken. My name is Titi Igos. As surely as the Lord lives, nobody will destroy Kenya at our watch. Somebody say amen. Shout amen. Shout amen. Shout amen. Shout amen. Shout amen. Shout amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. If you are not born again, give your life to Jesus. Jesus is the best. Yes. Jesus is the best. He is not the better option. He is the only option. He is the only way. The truth and the life. He is the way. No prophet is the way. Let me repeat again. No man of God is the way. Jesus Christ the son of God is the only way he is the way the truth and the life stop taking us back to old things and we have to go to the father through you the curtain was torn into two from top to bottom if you are ready to give your life to Jesus say father I believe in the finished work of the cross I believe that you raised Jesus from the dead. I confess with my mouth that Jesus is Lord. Write my name in the book of life. In Jesus name. Amen. If you pray that prayer, you are born again. It is well. You are blessed. The Lord is together with you. Now don't stay at home. Look for a Bible-believing church where Christ is revealed. I will repeat again. I know the church has been tainted. The worst place to be. But listen to me. There are fake prophets and there are true prophets. In every city, in every town, in every village, in everywhere. God has reserved for himself true men and women of God that stand for the true gospel. That are preaching the right gospel. Look for one. Allow the Holy Ghost to lead you to one of them. And God is together with you. God bless you. God favor you. We are Eagles Dominion House International. Let me invite you to our church. We are here in the heart of Nairobi. In Sunbeam Shopping Complex. Fifth floor. We are opposite Equity Bank on that headquarters. And along Mfangano Street. There's also a number down on the screen that you can call. Please call that number. I'll speak to you. If you need prayer, I'll pray with you.